Well, guys, it's March and Tosh month, and all you Power PC users and 68K Mac users, and even the early Intel are eligible to be in this. So basically, uh, we're going to do some things with the Mac Plus here. Several months ago, and this has been an ongoing project for a lot of the upgrades that I've done to this machine. One of the things is we replaced the eject gear in here on the floppy drive. We did some maintenance to it, and it works fantastic now. The next thing we did is we installed a Rominator in here, the Rominator board. And it took us a couple times to get it right, but it works quite fantastic. And then the other thing we did is we added the magic diode here for termination power. So that way it will power uh, SCSI devices. And that's the other upgrade we did. Thanks to uh, Steve at Mac84. He graciously put this together for me. And I also have a over easy to adapter on it. And that way we plug it in here and we have the benefit of having a SCSI hard drive. And it's quite nice, it works quite nicely. So between that and the Rominator, you can do some pretty cool stuff. Things that were way beyond this machine's capability back in the day. But what we're gonna do, we need to check the voltage on this. Now Bruce at Brankus Creations, he did a great tutorial. I'll put a link in here on his channel on how to check the voltage on your 128K Mac, 512K Mac, and Mac Plus, along with some other machines. But it's pretty easy, and the things you're gonna need is a paper clip. You're gonna need a nice multimeter, which I will put a link on this one here, this is awesome. Bruce at Brankus Creations, he actually sells these. He's a dealer for them. And so anyway, very affordable price, really cool meter. And of course, then we're going to use our legendary official T15 Torx wrench, or it's also better known as a Mac Cracker. And this is the real deal. This was actually used on the Apple assembly line in Fremont, California. A friend of mine used to work for Apple years and years ago. This thing put together a lot of machines. SEs, 128s, 512s, all kinds of machines. Color classics. So yeah, so this, what more appropriate for Marchantosh than to use this official tool to do it. Because there will be five screws we have to take off of here to get to it. But yeah. So anyway, that's what we're going to do. And also we need some alligator clip leads. So that way we can attach it to the uh, clip leads on the meter. So basically what we want to do is we want to be able to get the five volts as close as possible. And also uh, when you adjust this, it also automatically adjusts the 12 volt side of the power supply as well. So uh, according to Bruce on his tutorial, um, if the one measures fine and the other one's way off, could be something wrong with a component, could be something wrong with the analog board or caps or whatnot. So we're going to just first check the voltages and see how it works. So we're going to go on the floppy drive here and we're going to get on pin six. And I'll show you a little diagram there, pin six. That's what we need to attach it to. So we're gonna go on to pin six here. All right, so I had to get a little bit of a different paper clip here. The one I had was way too big. And so you wanna use a really small paper clip because these pins are very, very tiny. So what we need to do is we need to get on pin six and that's for the five volt. We're gonna check the five volt first. So we're gonna See, we're gonna count it here. One, two, three, four, five, right there. And now we get my flashlight just to double check here because we don't want any smoke. So one, two, three, four, five, which is pin six. And if we count the other way, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we are 
we are good there. And then what we need to do is we need to hook up our leads. So what we're going to do first is we're going to hook up the ground here, right on the lug there. I'm going to run this over here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hook this one up. I don't have a red one. This is a blue one. So we're just going to hook the uh, blue up here. We'll aim it this way here. There we go, like that. And then we'll run it over here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hook the uh, negative lead up to the black one here. Let's hook it to the probe here. I'll do a little better cable management here so I don't have any issue here. And, all right, so now all we have to do is just uh, turn it on here and let me get the meter in frame here. All right, so what we need is we need five volts. And so let's uh, turn it on here. Now this has the Rominator in it. You don't need to run a system on this. So I'm gonna wait for that thing to get done booting up. So we're just a little bit high on the five volt side here, as you can see. We should only be anywhere from 4.85 volt to 5.15 volt. So what we need to do is we need to take it apart and adjust the power supply. Now what we're gonna do is we're also gonna check the 12 volt side, and we're gonna do that here just in a second here. We're gonna switch it off, and this is gonna go on pin eight. That's the third pin. So now we're gonna measure pin eight here. And on pin eight, that's the 12 volt, we wanna be from 11.9 volt to 12.8 volt. So let's see what this measures here. I'm gonna turn it back on again. So again, on the 12 volt side, uh, it's supposed to be 11.9 to 12.8, and it's 11.92, so it's within tolerance. And the five volts just a little bit on the high side. So. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the case off of this thing. And there's five torques that are in here. They are, three of them are the same as far as length. And then the two ones down here, they're a little bit shorter. And we'll get this out of there. That is out. That, that one's loose. So that will, when I pull the cover off, that'll come out. And we'll take these out here. And we'll take this one out here. take the cover off. Now I've had this thing apart several times so this cover actually should come off pretty easy here which it does. We're gonna lift this up here and I'm gonna set this out of the way here. Not to lose the screws that are in there. Now of course you want to be very, very careful with the high voltage because I just had this on so you better be careful because you can get zapped. Now the, uh, we'll set this back up here and I will take this off too, just for the time being. I'll grab the chassis here. So what we want to do, and I've got this on a silicone mat. So what I need to do is get this all in position here so we can do the uh, adjustment on it here. So right here is where we're going to do the voltage adjustment. OK, 
Okay, we're just going to let this uh, kind of calm down a little bit here. On the 12 volt side, we should be 11.9, and we're just a bump low. So, all right, so we're going to adjust the 5 volt again here, just a little bit here. Tell you what, this thing is touchy. I mean, I'm just barely touching this thing. All right, let's see. I'd say that's good right there. Pretty darn good. Uh, let's check it on 12 volt side. Let's just see if that's still in tolerance. to uh, increase that just a little bit and of course we get freaking sirens Point one five. This 
So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna run this just that way it'll keep me in it's with intolerance on the low side and it'll be intolerance on the high side of the 12 volt and still intolerance on the low side here so by adjusting this I kind of ran a little bit higher than where you're supposed to have as close as the 5 volts as you can because I want to make sure I have the 12 volt within the tolerance so that should get me to the 11.9 uh, volt. Let's find out. Yeah, there we go. So see, we're in tolerance here. 11.9 to 12.8. And we're just a little, just, a, just barely in tolerance there. And on the five volt side, we're, we're within tolerance. So probably in the future, might need to reflow all the solder joints on an analog board here. Maybe possibly have to replace the caps. But right now we're, we're within tolerance. So it's doable. And so I think we're good to go on this. Okay, so we got it all back together here and we adjusted the voltage a little bit on it there. And you can see it's booting into the Rominator, but I don't have the keyboard handy here. So it's going to go right to the uh, blue SCSI there. And again, we get that lovely pattern because of the refresh rate on this versus the camera there. But I assure you, the screen looks absolutely gorgeous on the thing. It looks perfect. And I just uh, think we're all ready for the Marchathon. We got this girl going really good. Like I said, we left that 5 volt just a little bit on the high tolerance side on it there and the 12 volt is in tolerance where it needs to be you can see the blue SCSI there you won't see the rominator because i didn't uh, hold down on the r key to engage it but it is working and yeah so we're all set so i'm going to play some games on this and i'll have that on another video coming this march on the Mac Plus, just got to figure out a little bit better way of showing it to you on the screen here. We'll have to do some special effect to get that to look good there. But like I said, we are on the blue SCSI, courtesy of Mac84. Thank you, Steve, for putting that together for me there. Yeah, we appreciate it there. And Tom Barber, thank you. Quick, speedy delivery on this to Steve. He actually put this together on one of his uh, live streams. I'll actually put a link in there for that so you can see that. And yeah, so this uh, came out pretty good. I'm very happy with it. So I think we've upgraded this thing about as much as we can in terms of that for this Mac Plus. But yeah. So everybody, make sure you watch a lot of the videos for the Marchathon. Uh, Joe over at Joe's Computer Museum, um, they're actually doing a giveaway over there on a Mac SE 30, and you want to check that out, uh, Retro Roundup, uh, they're going to discuss the details on how you can win it. Alright guys, so anyway, you have a great rest of your week, please like and subscribe, and click that notification bell. We also post on Twitter and MeWe, and we're also on Rumble and Odyssey platform as well. So until next time, you guys have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.